recording. All right, so welcome to our <laughs> Asia Pacific, or wait, metrics model meeting, our troubled start with our document that we can't edit, but we'll find a way to make it through today. Uh, welcome everybody after our two week break. It's good to see everybody again. So hopefully you had some nice time off to reflect on chaos things. And that's what we're gonna talk about today. So I will share my screen just so we can follow along that way. Um, I don't know if you can, can you click on the pull requests? I you can't, but I'm putting them one by one into the chat. Okay, <laughs> thank you. Sure. So we do have a series of pull requests uh, that have come in over the break. And I thought we could kind of talk through these. I had a few, uh, just issues kind of just lay out issues that I want to talk through, but that should be no problem. So the first pull request, this is from Shoya. Uh, who you had commented on this. Do you have any insight on this? Yes, because Shoya found me just to create a mind map for the matrix model okay. on that folder. But um, it's, weird. it's weird that it cannot be rendered on GitHub. So the, I post the, my last uh, the snapshot. You can see the, my last comments here. This is actually supposed to be displayed on the GitHub here okay. to show in to show in how how many metrics model we, we gotcha. already got here. Yep. So okay. I, I I will I will try to fix that later this week. Okay. So, so this, just leave this PR open. Yeah. Yeah. For yeah. the time being. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. And so then will the the mind map just has to be manually updated every time we have a new metrics model. Is that correct? Yeah, yeah. OK. OK, thank you for that, Yuhui. Um, any comments for Yuhui or Shoya? Yeah, so I mean, as long as you know what you're doing, I'm kind of curious what could possibly cause that. But you can have fun figuring it out. Mm -hmm. Sure. Because yeah. I think uh, we, we, we would have more and more metrics model in the future. We better mm -hmm. have a better mind map to showing quickly to let people yeah. go through all the metrics model. Yep, I and like with the links. Okay, um, with the links, just is the plan just to have a link just take you to the metrics model, and then you can. Okay, okay. not like a link all the way down here, just a link at the top level. Yeah. Okay, great. All right, uh, let's take a look at our other PRs. Um, so. We have, this is our PR for the definition document for funding. Mm -hmm. Yes, this pull request, uh, it's, uh, uh, I, I did a uh, uh, markdown file of the uh, funding uh, definition. Uh, and uh, uh, during my implementation, and I was confused about uh, the definition of uh, a sponsored work. Mm, mm, uh, I think uh, in a in one situation, um, sponsored sponsored work means uh, the contributor belongs to a company and he joined the repository uh, because of his work. Um, and uh, on the other situation, uh, maybe the sponsored work uh, just means the contributor accept some uh, encouragement or some money from a um, right. foundation or someone because of his excellent code. So uh, I was confused confused about the definition of sponsored work. Um, okay. and. Uh, I think uh, these are two different uh, implementation imply implementation way. Yep. Mm. Yep, so, that's fair. So the way I understand it is the sponsored work from your perspective can mean sponsored, like you work at a company and you're sponsored. And the other is that you have some financial support somewhere else that's not necessarily a company to do the work. Is that correct? And it can mean two different things. Yes, um, I think yeah. so. Yeah. So where, Shang-Chi, where, where was that in this model? Is it this right here? Um, I, I don't know the, the meaning of the sponsored work. So I don't, I don't know how to implement it. Oh, I, OK. 
Okay. I added a label called working process. I see. So Sean, do you have thoughts on this? I, I, I mean, essentially when you've got organizational investment, you have some kind of capital behind keeping people maintaining the project. And so for, for the purposes of this metric, um, the funding model, I mean, that is a, that is a, a principal mode of funding and corporatized open source. So I don't know if we have a, so organizational diversity might be the metric to have there. It's the or, organizational influence. Do we have yeah, an organ? Do we still have an organizational diversity metric? That's right there. Yeah, here. Yeah. Okay. The line of twenty seven. Okay, sorry. It's I'm reading it in Markdown, but not just not rendered Markdown. That's that seems right. I mean, I'm, is the question? Do I think organizational influence belongs? It's about sponsorship. What sponsorship means to you? Oh, so like if we talk about being sponsored, so like contributions being sponsored, I think in this case, to me, you, go ahead. You go down a rabbit hole with sponsorship because of all the different ways that yes. it moves around. So I'd say it's a hard, I would try not to use it because it's confusing and has many meanings. Or if we use it, I think maybe we just it's it's about working for a company, I think largely is, is yeah. what this is about. Because yeah, in, yeah. In, like to like, like in GitHub, they, they, they have a sponsor program initialized like three years ago, 2019. It's called sponsor program. It's it it would uh, an onion repository maintainer would accept uh, the sponsor or fresh uh, cash from, from anybody who like or who use this repository. And uh, I, I'm not sure it, 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 it's the uh, sponsor work related to, to that program. I think this metric model was, um, was initialized by Emma, uh, who is from you know, uh, Microsoft. Yep. So I thought, uh, I'm not sure, it's that he's uh, her me? Yeah. Uh, we'd have to ask her. Yeah, I don't, I don't know mm -hmm. what was on her mind. So Shang-Chi, is the, is the challenge that you don't know how to necessarily implement this because you don't know what sponsorship means? Exactly. Uh, yes, I just uh, uh, list some uh, metrics models definition on it, and uh, there is no implement or data insights. Right, this down here. So what, Shang Chi? What uh, if? Oh, go ahead, Panad. Yeah, uh, thinking on that, I was thinking like maybe a one, uh, not a hundred percent full sponsorship, but a proxy of it is. Like if you're a corporate com a contributor using a like company email that can help you identify and we can think of it as a sponsored contribution. So like every corporate contributor I see in somehow is a sponsored. So one of my one of my favorite ways to move forward on complex topics is to remove the complexity. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so yeah, because it will spin around forever, and the next time it comes up in three months, we'll be confused again. Yeah, so what, what okay. if we just got rid of sponsorship right now for this metric model? I mean, what would I people think, think of that? Uh, it would move it forward, at least, and if we want to bring okay. it back in later, we can do that. Yeah. Like, uh, the topic okay. is funding, and which is very important. Maybe we have funding uh, if a sponsorship is continued, because... This is the crux of it, I would, I feel like. Yeah, I mean, it's a funding metrics model. So I'd say that's the crux of it. Good call. <laughs> yeah, you are looking at the funding and you are just deleting the sponsorship. And then, I, uh, yeah, go ahead. I mean, we can, we can keep, keep, keep this uh, definition here. Uh, about sponsorship, uh, sponsorship, but uh, in the da data insights, we we do.
do not need to add any sponsorship implementation here for now because we haven't got uh, the fully understanding. At least we we could uh, contact with um, with Emma to say what what is the initial light mean about mm. it, and uh, we can add it later. Yeah. So I think the matrix model we can enhancement step by step. We don't have to plan for one uh, in one step. Yeah, and I think you would, yeah, and in English sponsorship is one of those words that has many meanings. For example, Google sponsors the Linux Foundation, which sponsors several CNCF projects. So okay. is Google a sponsor of every CNCF project? <laughs> so you, you can end up, you know, in this, so you, you might be specific about project sponsor, but I agree not dealing with it now makes makes the most sense. The only, the only thing I would suggest of the metrics we have is I think, and it's, this may not apply and I completely am fine not including it, but um, the job opportunities metric is a trailing indicator of whether or not a project has investment. If people are hiring with, if in the US people will hire if you know a certain open source project. And if that's happening, it's an indication of um, funding. But it's a trailing indicator and I'm totally fine not including it. Like we can ignore my comment and just merge the pull request. Is Which one was it though? Uh, uh, all these? Metric job opportunities. I put a comment in, um, I'll paste it in the Zoom oh, chat. Oh, it's, it's not in what Shang-Chi had. Yeah, it was, okay. it was as I was looking it over here in this meeting. I'm not going to act like I did it before this meeting because I didn't. Um, My suggestion when I was looking at this is to. I think there are things that can be fixed in this PR. But if we merge it, we then have something to to fix against is yeah. kind of my my philosophy. I, I think iterating on metric models is a good idea, like waiting until we have consensus on something this complex. It just prevents us from making progress. Yeah, metrics models seem to be a little bit more sticky than metrics themselves. Do I agree? think we need, we need to find ways to move them forward. Do you agree, Yahui? Or, um... Yep, I agree. Yes, okay. just keep the pull request open. No, no I, I'd like to it. merge it. Merge it. Yeah, I'd like to merge it, and then we, we can talk against it. Yeah, we can. Not like, it. not like bad against it, but yeah, we have something yeah, yeah. to talk talk about, <laughs> is what I what I am trying to say. <laughs> OK. So I, I like to see the reason the reason I like merging this too is because it it with within the funding if I go back to code and libs and funding it'll help put a definition document in here for us mm -hmm. you know what I mean it'll it'll yep, yep. Put the definition folder and the the actual definition markdown file in there. And then in two weeks, we can return to this and continue to improve it. So maybe an action exactly. is to continue to, to work on it. So. And by the way, we, uh, actually in the comp contributor list, uh, we just try to remember who have, have contributed to, to, to this matrix model. So we add some name list down on there. So, For sure. do, do, so do you have someone, anyone else to add this? Matrix model as a contributor. I personally don't recall contributing to it. I may okay. have been in a meeting. I mean, I may you have are. been in a meet. You are now. Okay. You I are. Mean, I, okay. I remember I discussing it, but I, but okay. yeah, I don't know what the, the the line is. You know, if you show up at a concert, are you in the band? I don't know. <laughs> That's, I think it's not quite that. But Chenqi, <laughs> <laughs> maybe you could, you need to add uh, Shen later to replace this code okay. and add in. <laughs> yeah. Okay, this is good. Um Sean, do you wanna do you wanna merge this? Yep. And then make sure we capture don't lose your this right here. The suggestion? Yeah. No, it doesn't get lost. When I merge it, it's that comment stays in there. So Okay. And then could you also open an issue 
Yeah. Just because I'm going to keep, I'm going to go to the next yeah. PR and just yep. open an issue to make sure that we return to the funding.md markdown for improvements for the next meeting. You know what I mean? Yep. Yep. All right. Thank you, John. Is everybody okay with this? I like moving these That's forward. Right. Okay. Yeah. Um, adding less that show. Oh, thank you, Sean. It's already merged. Um, I had done just so you know, I had just done this is in the the libs readme, the metrics mm -hmm. model. I just went through it and just made some tiny grammatical changes. Okay. That that's it. I didn't change much of anything in here, just some wording choices. So that's the only change that's occurring here. So if somebody would like to check yep. that out and merge it, that would be cool with me. All right. Um Yahui, do you have merge in this? You should if you should if he doesn't. No, I I didn't merge it, but you know, I can't. Do, do you have the permissions, I think, is Yeah, do you have the permissions to merge in this repo? I know you June, June does. All right. I can merge it directly right now. Okay, just there's nothing. There's no fundamental change. Yeah, I, I I found that. But 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 if you think you 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 want to improve the language, or uh, I, I think you, you you're right to go because I write it for uh, okay. in my style. Yeah. Yeah, I just moderate. Okay. And then um, the the last one. Okay, so this will be I created the DEI event badging metrics model and this is going to just require a few pieces of um a few points of conversation for all of us okay so this is the dei events badging so i put it in the metrics model lib dei event badging definition and this is this is what this is all right mm. and so the the difference here you can take a look at it i don't need to walk through this but um the difference here is it doesn't really have like an implementation the way that the other metrics models do. Mm -hmm. So there's no like sample data. There's no. Um, At one point we had a guideline, we had a different word for these kinds of metric models. And I don't remember off the top of my head what it was. Okay. It's like, a, I um but I uh, I think that not all the metrics models should be followed by the trace data. So if we do not have some trace data, or at least for now, we we still should allow this metrics okay. model initialized and and exist here. And maybe future we can add more imp implementations if okay. we have. Some new I mean, ways, I, I, I agree because I mean this model is actually fully implemented through our magic program. I mean, <laughs> yeah, it, yeah, yeah, yeah. In, exactly. in, it does in, in fact world. exist. Yeah, and so so Yuhui, do you think that the the way that we would do it is we would just have like DEI event badging here? Yeah, and then you would I, just I have agree. the you would just have the definition folder, and that's it. I agree. I agree. I fully okay. agree on that. Yeah. Okay. So, so all the all the metrics models should start from definition and and the implementation part of we we can add it later even even it already support for the trace data, okay, um, measurement, you you know it's a, it's a work you 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 need to time you need to work it step by step. Okay, I'm I'm happy with that. I just wanted to make sure because this then has a little bit of an impact. I don't know if it really matters, but it honestly has a. Like this would just say DEI event badging with no link to implementation or some like, I don't know, would the mind map still be the same? That's all. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Should okay. be the same. Okay, so it would just be an implementation, but it would be a real world implementation, not a sample data implementation. No. Okay. Okay, good. And then this Maybe actually... In 
implementation uh, we can point to directly di badging model uh, on github where we have actually that model deployed that'd be great i mean i would love if like so this mind mind map would like come down here and say dei event badging and, and then, then we have an implementation uh in the even in the github implementation folder we can just have a readme it's uh we don't have a trace data but we have a real implementation follow this link i like that pretty much because yep. right now the only place that the link to uh, brain the only place that that link exists is um, down here yeah in references so we can we can copy this link to the implementation folder and have a readme that will direct the reader to particular implementation. I like that. that's yeah that, i think that's a good idea yeah so so we have the implementation as a but it's not a trace data but it's a real implementation as well. okay so then i would actually once this is merged I would still have, I would create an implementation folder with a very small readme that says this has yep. been deployed in the room. Okay. Yes. Okay. Yes. Yeah. Okay. I like that idea. Um, okay. So that was this one, I think. So create in, oops, implementations folder that includes us. I'm not, sometimes the autofill, like, it doesn't help me very much. I see the word and it's not the word I want and I have to stop for a second. So anyway, all right, uh, great. Thank you for that. Um, and then the only, the other thing that this does do is if I come back here and I go to the metrics model libs, the the readme let's see oh actually it'll be okay because this readme talks about having jupyter notebooks deployable but i think in this case i wouldn't have these folders anyway yes so i might yeah so this is okay Um, all good there. Um, okay. Thank you for all of this feedback. So far, so good. Any comments? This is helpful. I mean, we actually have two definitions deployed today, which is very good. Um, and and yeah. okay, we we have we still have more topics. Otherwise, I have actually I have questions for yeah. uh, because uh, I I know we already have some metrics model. Uh, definition and ongoing work. My question is that uh, could we uh, are we allowed to add more metrics model uh, during the, in the next two months? Uh, could we still catch up the progress before we you know launch out some some release work? Uh, yes. I, mean, I think you... I feel like we're working on a pretty good clip here. Okay. Okay. Sure. Uh, because we 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 think we already uh, doing we already do some work. Uh, uh, in my uh, in our con con communities with June with uh, with Chen Qi, and we haven't got time to 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 upload it to 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 the Chaos Metrics Model Working Group. So if we still allow to us to do that, we we can add more metrics model. Yes, yeah. more than allowed to. You're, yes, this sure. would be awesome. You're encouraged. <laughs> yeah, <that's right. laughs> and, and, and also, there's a question related to this question. The next one is that, uh, uh, you know, uh, for example, in the acti community activity, we have some metrics uh, included in this model. And we do found that uh, we'd better to uh, define some, a few, a few of new metrics into the other working group, like in, uh, in the value part or in the evolution part. So uh, do we, uh, are we allowed to do so quickly? Yes, you can. Uh, the, I think the most efficient way to do it is if the, you can kind of look at the pattern in the template 
and you can create a draft of what you think that metric should be and then it would be discussed in the working group and given feedback oftentimes it starts with a discussion in a working group in a google doc and that takes longer yeah. if you want to yeah, because, move more quickly create the pull request <laughs> yeah because in because in some metrics in the community activity mm -hmm. uh, actually we refer it from the common working group part but uh, we think we could give things some solid or, or solid definition and move it to the to other to the others some other working group which is more suitable um yeah you, yeah you for some so part of that he should be yeah. moved uh issue contribution or change request uh, I think uh, some metrics in the activity dates and the times in this part, this, this is the uh, common, this metrics actually from the common metrics model, if I remember correctly. So some of the, so some of the, metri right. the metrics have been developed in these groups. And one of the things Kevin and the students in Google's Summer of Code are doing is creating a knowledge base that separates where they happen to have been created from how they might be applied mm -hmm. and so it might not be necessary to move them to different okay. working groups i think i think this knowledge base is intended to sort of solve this problem where in hindsight this metric kind of doesn't belong here i don't know matt, matt i don't know if you, you may have a slightly more uh, elaborate no. You, you're, you're right. So the working groups were kind of a functional way early in the chaos project for us to coordinate work. And we're finding that they're just a little bit too restrictive. So we're coming up with ways to simply tag the metrics okay. so that they're, they're a little bit more universal to the project, I think. And the working groups just kind of signal um, not necessarily where the metric is located, but they just kind of signal the group of people that works on that metric. Okay, got it. Yeah, that, that that's make the metrics working group more cross collaboration yeah. together. Yeah. Exactly, exactly. And so if if risk working group is working on, if they're working on something, it could easily exist in the evolution working group, but they just happen to be the group of people that are working on it. So yeah, exactly. Um, and so Yuhui, if you if there are metrics that you think are not in this model that should be in this model and they don't currently exist anywhere you know like i don't know some some um seventh metric that you think should be included in this model mm -hmm. if if you want us to work on that as a metric we can do that for sure mm -hmm. okay um, and, Thank you. And the, yep the easiest way is to go get the metrics template it's I can give you the link or somebody can put it in the chat. Yeah, I, I found that link. Okay, and you could just even if you just type like really preliminary text, it would give us some pointers on how to work on the metric and we could bring it back to you to see if that's what you're looking for. You know what I mean? Okay. Yep. Thank you. Yep. Thanks. All right, cool. Um, great. This is very good. Um, I will say two, just one one quick comment. If, we, if you and Cheng Chi and June bring metrics models forward, that would be absolutely wonderful. And I think we're now in a position with, honestly, with this, <laughs> that we that we can comfortably accept metrics models quickly and easily. I think we now have a structure. I think there was a long time where we didn't quite know how to build yeah. metrics models. <laughs> And what we were doing um and so now the work that you had done kind of putting this together was extremely helpful so so okay. yes okay good um let's go back to the minutes oh okay um i put i don't this discussion i just want to make sure we're not impacting our metrics model template but i don't think this has you know what i mean mm -hmm. um Vinod, I'm guessing this is you? Yes. Uh, <laughs> so a while, yes. We developed this metric model and were lacking for the implementation. That's where we discussed that we have developed it and now it's time to bring it to this group so that they can think on implementing of this model. So like value working group has discussed it in detail and they are good for it. 
to be implemented. So maybe Yahoo.com team or any other uh, can look at it and think on the implementation side. So mm -hmm. in the working group, we just developed the model and brought it here for the implementation purpose. And could you give some a little bit of overview as to what the model is, Vinod? Yes. So uh, project awareness is like more on uh, trying to assess how uh, uh, it it started initially with the popularity, like how much popular my project is. Then over the period of time, there were many metrics those, and then it evolved to be a more awareness, like how many people know about my project, which can be in terms of folks, clones, or uh, uh, stars or in any ways. So this helps us to indicate like uh, uh, importance of my project or uh, awareness and uh, we can look at uh, from those perspectives. So. Okay. Uh, cool. So is, is there an ask to... So there are two things now. First is if you want, I can create a pull request for this as a template to be implemented and uh, but uh, like I, I will not have the implementation aspect but I can create a PR for a definition and uh, a mo model detail like this as, as we have the file but implementation will be missing which needs to be done on this I think to I think my response would be yes. Create the PR, okay, as a definition to Yahui's point earlier that I think we just need to do this in pieces. Okay, and we now have to my to my point. We now have places to put the pieces, right? <laughs> and, yeah, which is which is really good. So I would recommend that you do it as a PR. Okay, I'll I'll then create a PR for this model. Okay. But for this project awareness model, I, I, I'd like to uh, take a look into it to say if we could quickly find some um, trace data to give it support for the implementation. Okay. All right, great. Uh, thank you very much. Yeah, thanks everybody. So I'm guessing So in terms of I put this on here, the next set of models and how they relate to the website. So it sounds like there are a series of metrics models that are kind of coming forward. Vinod, you just proposed one with the project awareness. Uh, Yahui, you had mentioned that you have some that you had been working on with Xingqi in June that you can bring forward. So I, I don't think that we need to specify those here. I was just curious as to what is coming forward, but I think we've already kind of talked about that. Um, and then in terms of relation to the website, you know, as, as Sean had pointed out, we're doing, we're building a knowledge base and so the idea is to allow people to, there's going to be three points of entry into the chaos project. So like three paths to participate. The first is you're a newcomer and you would like to participate in the chaos project. That's one path via the website. The second path is that you are an existing chaos community member and you need things like meeting minutes. You need things like links to to, to, to the Zoom channel or whatever it might be. So that's the second path. And the third path, which is what is relatable here, is that you're a consumer of metrics or metrics models or software, and you just want to use the things that are being produced by the Chaos Project. You don't want to participate in the project. You just want to use the things that, that we have available. And so the the knowledge base would really help in that regard in that you can simply search on keywords or tags to identify the things that you're looking for. And then from that point, we can kind of point people to the deployed metrics models or to the implementation folders. We can start kind of showing them the things that, that they're looking for. So just 
Exactly. We're working on this and it's still a work in progress. So if, if you have strong thoughts on, on how to help people discover these things, don't hesitate to speak up. But that's where we're at right now. And we're making really good progress. Okay. Um, and then maybe the last thing is Google Summer of Code. I know that we have a couple folks, or at least on the contributor funnel, isn't that what it is? Uh, it's con it's uh, conversion rate. Yeah, conversion and, rate. Sorry. Yes. And candidly, I've had a very clumsy start to that because I was in my anniversary the first time we tried to meet, and the meetings on Friday night. So I don't have a strong sense of how that's going. And Yahoo has taken on more of that than I anticipated. That he yeah, was actually, asking him to. So how's yeah. that going, Yahoo? <laughs> It's pretty good, actually. Okay. Uh, we, we, we already have two, two times weekly meeting together with, uh, with uh, Mabel and Taiwei and, and, and Vino together. And uh, we define the progress, uh, the, the, the plan, the working plan. And also we define the way of the, uh, to how to uh, track the progress of their uh, that's and, nice. Yeah. Uh, GSOC program because they they already set up their own uh, organization on the GitHub and nice. uh, to to upload their project there and also upload their the weekly report on, on this on their uh, GitHub uh, organization. Okay. So is there, their intention is to include it in the chaos or essentially eventually, I assume, or is it intended uh, to be a plugin? Um, and uh, 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 some part, of, some part of code would uh, would belong to the would uh, uh, because they fork the they fork some uh, repository from the chaos. So maybe uh, okay. in the future they will merge back to the to, to the merge. Okay, codes. okay, that makes sense. And, they can work independently and then merge back. And uh, yeah, and hmm. also for the mesh based model, we we help them uh, to set up the new set up new. Uh, repository for the metrics model which would uh, would uh, to handle the calculation and uh, and analysis part for the nice. conversion rate so nice. they already forked this metrics model into their own uh, repos uh, organization and they can start working on that nice yeah so currently there's no block there okay so uh, yeah Sean, do you want to good connect news. in with Yahoo and Mabel? Because I think isn't Mabel using Augur? No, Mabel. The, every we we agreed everyone's using Grimoire Lab because oh, Mabel okay. proposed to use Grimoire Lab, and I wasn't going to ask someone to change their project. And okay. I talked I talked with her about Augur. She really wanted to use Grimoire Lab, which is totally cool. Um, okay, so can we? Can you like, like connect into that? Yeah, the, the and I, are there stuff, are there or? meeting times, Yahui, that are not like you said? There's two a week now. I suppose they're on the. What are they? What? Oh uh, no, no, no! Two weekly meeting. Two week. Uh, we already have two weekly meeting. Oh, you have um, already had two, it, but it's going to be at nine p.m. on Fridays. Uh, actually, we we already changed the time slot from this week. We will uh in your time slot, it would happen on the Tuesday. Uh, sorry, Thursday. Thursday. So, yeah. Oh, Thursday. at nine o'clock. I, I, yeah. Actually, nine o'clock uh, on Thursday, I can usually do. Yeah. Um, up, up, uh, maybe that's all. I'm can almost always do nine o'clock on Thursday. There's Is that still, right? on nine p.m. U.S. Nine, Central. Yeah, there'll be um, yeah, some there'll be there'll be some Thursdays I can't because I'm in transit, but and this Actually, Thurs, this Thursday I can weird. be there. It's weird. In Mabel's time slot, it's at seven p.m. Yeah, she's on Pacific Daylight Time. Oh, okay. Yeah, and yeah. Two hours, okay. yeah. Which is very unusual, uh, candidly, for okay. a Google Summer Code student. Um, but no problem. Okay, okay. sure. Um, so do you have a, Yahui, do you have an async channel that you use as well? Are you on Slack? Yeah, he's created a really great and very active Slack channel inside of Chaos. Yeah. Okay. Uh, it's its name is a it's a JSOC to two thousand twenty two. Oh, it's just it's the name. Okay. So I'm just I'm just the reason I'm asking you, Sean, is just because I think you're a listed mentor for yeah. that, and yeah. just any technical help and like I don't know, yeah. be the 
the professor kind of like yeah a I student mean, help students through that you've done this like a yeah I had I had several it. conversations with Mabel about just making sure she was in an okay place and I I think you know everybody's really appreciative of of Yahoo's help and tire um who is the person from Grimoire Lab Yahoo that helps out um I can't remember his name off the top of my head the new, the new yeah so yeah Vanu. i mean both both taiwei and and mabel very much appreciate has, uh, has venu been helping out yahoo mm -hmm. yeah. yeah exactly okay. together with us yeah mm -hmm. okay i just okay that that's good i just always want to make sure that like for any of our whether it's outreachy season of docs summer of code that we have more than one mentor yeah for yeah like that's yeah. a lot to take on for one person okay okay great Look at that. We spent 50 minutes talking. And uh, yeah. <laughs> and we merged, we merged three or four, something, three or four pull requests. We have another one coming in. We've got more metrics models coming in. Look at it. We're, 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 we're doing it. <laughs> yeah. No, this is great. Good job, everybody, especially, uh, especially Yahooie and um, everyone. I'm, yeah, yeah. Everyone. Yeah, everyone. Yeah, everyone. Yeah. Too. And uh, yeah, I was just trying to remember the. Yes. So now we'll work on this and we'll see in a couple of weeks. And actually, we'll probably talk about it next week in the Asia Pacific call as well. So, exactly. Uh, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Right. Have a good morning, everybody. Yeah. Okay. Talk to you all later. Bye bye. Bye. Bye.